Alright guys, we've just set up our arena frames and we've got one more thing to do. We need to set up our rate frame. So let's go ahead and turn off the arena frame. And let's go ahead and turn on the rate frame right here. And as we see, there's a whole bunch of stuff right here with the rate frame. So for now, let's go ahead and turn off the buffs and the debuffs on the rate frame. Here we go. And let's try to configure it. Okay, so we want the actual frame to show a party as a raid as well okay and we want to change the uh, number of max columns to five we want to change the units per column to one and this is really confusing let's try to reload our ui Here we go. Okay, this looks good. It, it seemed like uh, it was uh, a little bit confused. So here we go. We've got our rate frames right here. Now we want them to be a little bit taller than what they are right now. So let's uh, go ahead and change the uh, frame height to 50 pixels. Let's try 55 pixels. Let's leave the width at 60. Let's make the scale 100%. Okay. Let's go ahead and drag them down to where we want. So I like to keep my raid frames and my party frames right over here. Right under my cast bar. Alright. So as you see here, I dragged out my configuration thing again. So we're going to have to reload UI, but that's okay. Alright, so we've got our rate frame, and let's go ahead and configure how we're going to show buffs and debuffs on it. Now, do we have any extra information here uh, that we don't want to see? We've got the cast bars, which is pretty important. Let's make them a little bit smaller compared to everything else. Widget size. Cast bar, point, point 0.5. Let's make it a little bit shorter. And let's make the power, power bar looks pretty good. Okay, so let's turn on buffs, and here they are. Now, that's not a really good position for the buffs to show, and especially as I'm playing a restoration druid, and basically buffs are my lifeline. So let's go ahead and move them to top right. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now... We want to also show our debuffs, and let's put them at top left. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's let's configure it to be anchored exactly right there. How does this look? Okay, now we're going to see more buffs than this, so we want to move our buffs up. So we're going to just move the Y offset, let's say... 30 pixels high and let's set the max amount of rows for the debuffs to be 2 and the max amount of uh, debuffs to be 8 okay so that looks alright now we want to move this a little bit higher and let's make the size a little bit bigger than 18 let's make it 20 pixels tall and let's make it max of six per row and max rows of two. So this is, let's make sure our cast bar, there we go, this, this seems to line up just good enough. So we've got our debuffs here, and we've got our buffs. Now, of course, we're going to use aura filters for, for our buffs on our raid frame and our arena frame, but we'll be able to basically con see all the debuffs at once on our uh, raid frames. Okay, now the other thing we want to configure is we want to configure the uh, rate pets because that's pretty important. Let's go ahead and turn on rate pets. Let's make uh, max columns 1, units per column, no, max columns 5, units per column 1. And we're going to have to reload UI here. And here we go. 
here are our read pets. And let's configure them. Let's uh, also enable the uh, read to see how they look. So here we go, we've got our read pets. I guess we could put them underneath our read frame. That's a, that's a good spot to put them. Read pets. So let's make the frame 100% scale. 100% not 25. Let's make, uh, let's turn off the power bar. Let's, uh, let's see how can we get, let's turn off the cast frame as well. Let's turn off the uh, name for them because we don't really care about that. Or the health. Let's line it up just below the cast bar here. There we go. Let's make it a little bit shorter, let's say 20 pixels tall. Let's now we gotta configure the buffs and debuffs. Now this is up to your preference, but I'm gonna disable the buffs and for the debuffs I'm just gonna put them right here. I'm gonna make them a little bit smaller and I'll just put them right over the frame. Alright, let's change one more thing for the uh, frame. Let's go ahead and click new configuration read and let's sort them by name and uh, not index. Okay, so that'll basically uh, sort them based on uh, where they are. Or, or rather by name. So for example, when you hit your F1, F2, F3, F4, F5 keys, you can make special macros for them. If you, if you use different buttons for targeting, you can always have the same ordering for the raid frame. Here we go. So this is how we're going to do it. So let's go ahead and compare the uh, default raid frames with uh, the ones we set up. So right here we've got, I've got myself healed here and I'm showing all the buffs right now but as you can see here the difference is, is, is just is just huge I'm able to see so many more buffs at once and uh, let's go ahead and turn these off right now because I don't even want to look at the default read frames anymore okay 